Hey, you guys doing all right today? Yes. One more time, can we clap again for the officers of Death Row, everybody? It is, uh, it, is, it is an honor to be here today, uh, to really stand in this room and have a few moments to share with everybody that is in this room today. You know, as I think about the moment in which we have come and how we are here, uh, everybody in this room is in some shape, in some form, in some level of leadership. What I found out at just 21 years of age is that a call to leadership is first a call to preparation. Because no matter where you are in life, no matter the space or the place that you've come to and or arrive at, everybody in this room has potential. Do me a favor, everybody shout potential. Potential. Everybody shout potential. Potential. There's so many people who leave and lead without potential. Potential equips you for purpose. Purpose prepares you for passion. What I'm coming to discover is anything you're passionate about, you prepare for. Everybody in this room has purpose on their life, but it takes preparation. You don't have time to get ready, you gotta stay ready. See, because when you stay ready, when it's time to actually get to the stage, you'll already be ready. So the time that everybody else is competing for to get ready, you'll already be ready. Right. You know, and, and as, you, as you must understand, and what you really, really, really have to understand is nobody in this room has time to be playing. Okay. I know this ain't church, but do me a favor, look at your neighbor, tell them, say neighbor. I don't got time, I ain't got time to, be to be in here playing. Look at somebody else, because they're acting phony. Tell them, say, neighbor, neighbor. I don't got time, don't got time. To, be to be in here playing. Let me, let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. The clowns never become kings, and kings never clown. And, and, and because you got to understand that you are royalty and you have purpose over your life, then there's a few levels of leadership you got to prepare for. There's a few levels of leadership, and I promise you I'm going to be in my seat in a few seconds. There's only a few levels of, of leadership that you have to be prepared for. And the first thing you got to prepare to do is make choices. The caliber of your life is critiqued about the choices you make right now. You are in the most important time of your life you could ever be into. You're dealing with peer pressure. You're dealing with social media. You're dealing with things on the inside of you. And the last thing we need is to make bad choices. Every choice now at this moment matters. You know, I remember... Only a few years ago when I was in high school, think about all the choices that I made. Think about all the good choices and all the bad choices. But I realized that I could have I saved time at 21 had I made better decisions at 17. Why? Because I wasn't focused. And that's the thing. Focus is fertilizer for your future. You got to stay focused. So, so Twitter doesn't consume my time now. Facebook, Snapchat, you know why? Because the same thing they were doing on that story last week, they're still doing it now. But how would your story change? How you change your story is by critiquing the scene. And if your scene looks like everybody else when it's time to go into the work field, and if your scenes look like everybody else when it's time to qualify for a job, what makes you different? The power of difference is the caliber of destination. Because you are different, you're purposeful. Everybody say, I'm purposeful. I'm purposeful. I, I need you to really say it like you believe it, all right? I gotta wake up. Everybody say, I'm purposeful. I'm purposeful. The second level of leadership, and I'm closing. I'm, clo I'm closing, mother. I'm closing. The second letter, le letter of leadership is listening skills. Think about my life. Here's the thing, y'all. I don't know if I'm going to tell you this, so I'm going to go ahead and tell you this. Don't talk too much. Is this mic on? You hear what I just said to you? Don't talk too much. If you want to be a real leader, success isn't about how much you can talk. It's really about how well you can listen. Information is the power that you're going to need to fuel your future. A lot of mistakes I made in high school, and even now going into a young adult is I talk too much. I said too much and listen too less. You're not disqualified. Your life is right on schedule. So if you're in a room with somebody that's smarter than you, and if you surround yourself around people who have purpose over their life, take it in. Because the real measure of friendship isn't about we mutually share the same knowledge. I'm learning now that if I really want to be a millionaire, and if I really want to be successful, I got to have at least two friends that got some money. I ain't talking about them kind of friends you go to Taco Bell, you got to pay for everything. I ain't talking about that kind of friend. I'm talking about the kind of person who has already walked away. They may not know the full caliber of it, but somebody who's walked away. Do me a favor, look at somebody you're sitting next to really quick. Tell them, say, neighbor. Neighbor. Today is the day, today is the day 
I make up my mind, up my mind that, it's just that, that it's just that serious. Okay, they, they don't believe you. Tell somebody, okay, we're we going to do it and I'm going to give the mic up. We're going to do it and I'm going to give the mic up. Okay, y'all, I know it's early. Can anybody hear us around the halls? We get ready to scream. I just wanted to make sure, all right? All right. On three, I need everybody to say, it's that serious. Okay, y'all can do it? Yes. Y'all got it? Yes. All right, ready? On three, we're going to say, it's that serious, all right? Ready? One, two, three. Doing all right, you're doing all right. All right, ready? One, two, three. It's that serious. I, I got to measure who the real leaders are, so we're going to try this side, then we're going to try this side, all right? All right. We're we going to try this side. Oh, y'all y'all ready over here? You ready? One, two, three. It's that serious. I need to try the back of the room. I need to try the back of the room, the back of the room. Back of the room. You ready? One, two, three. They let me down. They're not ready. They're not ready. They're not ready. We, we can pray for them. They're not ready. Ready? On this side. One, two, three. It's that serious. You got to let those words echo in the sentiments of your life. It's that serious. See, if, if you come in in class and look for a bae, a buddy, a boo, and a bestie, you're going to fail. We ain't got time for that. Why? Because we, we, we come up in here to raise our GPAs. Right. That's what we come to do. We come up in here to lead to learn and to grow. Mm -hmm. so, so for the rest of this school year and for the rest of your life, remember, it's that serious. And I think about where I am now. Most people ask me all the time, how come you be doing what you be doing? I say, because it's that serious. Because if I work hard now, I can play later. Ah, you better say it. School ain't a playground, it's serious. Only reason I'm telling you it's serious is because I failed ninth grade math three times. Only reason I'm telling you it's that serious it's because I could have had an ROTC scholarships, but I was in ROTC playing. Mm. Even when I made the officer rank in ROTC, I was still playing. So when they was giving out scholarships, I was ROTC qualified, but my GPA wasn't qualified. Mm. So guess what? I took the CTE pathway and then discovering when I did that, at the end of the day, mm. I'm not prepared to go into any college or any university. Oh no. And so now with all my friends who are already juniors here, I'm a freshman in Covenant Theological Seminary. Now am I late? No. But I could have got started early if I realized it's just that serious. So we ain't got time to be in class picking at our heads, okay. dreading it up. Okay. It's serious. Yeah. Asking for numbers, it's serious. Yeah. One more time on three. Can everybody stand real quick? Everybody stand. I'm about to get a mic up, I promise. Do me a favor. We, we got to say it one more time until we all get it, all right? Y'all ready? On three, we going to say it's that serious, all right? One, two. Y'all too low. Y'all too. I don't like this. Y'all too low. I, I was just, I'm going to be at Myers next week, and they, they didn't disappoint last year, so let's try. One, two, three. Is that serious? One more time, louder than you can do it, and I'm going to sit down. All right, we're we going to do it one more time. We, we got we to gotta get the attention of everything around us. You ready? One, two, three. Is that serious? Do me a favor. Would you clap if you're excited about your future real quick? I said clap if you're really excited about your future.